I think I started to really pay attention to, to sneakers probably like my later years of elementary school, like fourth, fifth grade. But even, but back then, I mean, it wasn't realistic for me to get sneakers because I'm from a family of five, two, you know, humble parents, both were teachers. So realistically, there were things that I saw and I was attracted to, but to turn around and really ask my parents for that, it wasn't gonna happen. I think at one point I, I grew some balls and asked for them and asked for like some Jordans. I got some Team Jordans and it just it wasn't the same. It didn't have the same effect. Uh, and then, you know, I got a little bit older and I think like one of my teammates gave me a pair of, of he had some old like 14s, white and Carolina blue. I remember I didn't really care for 14s, but they were Jordans. And I was like, yo, OK, and I, I rock. But I mean, I wore them things till like till, till I couldn't wear. Actually, they were 15. I'm sorry. I wore them till I couldn't wear them no more. Right. And then. The Love Affair was born like from, from jump. Like when I first just saw a pair of J's, um, it just I just gra I just gravitated towards it. And then when I started actually getting involved, I'd probably say junior high, junior high, and then high school. I got my first job because I wanted to buy sneakers because I couldn't I couldn't realistically ask my parents to buy me some J's every month. Like, hey, these are coming out. Can you? Okay, that might happen once if I was lucky. And then after that, it's like, yo, that ain't gonna, that's not possible. Family of five kids, it's not realistic. So I got my first job, this pizza spot over in Rancho, over in Altaloma, Pizza Royale, um, solely so I could buy J's. And then the Love Affair just was built from there. Space Jam, like when I saw that movie, MJ was like my hero. My hero growing up, just across the board. Like I loved other, I loved basketball, but soccer was my sport and I loved athletes within soccer, but Michael Jordan, I probably saw the most of him growing up um, and just what he did on the court. I mean, the, the, the shoes, the, the flair that he brought to the game, everything embodied in one, it just, it just pointed me towards sneakers. And then they're one, three, 11, four, probably in that order. One and three is really close for me. Three is like, it's just something about them, man. Like, Especially these true blues, it's 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 just a beautiful shoe, man. It's something about it. But then the ones, like when I was talking about, you could dress them up, you could dress them down, you could throw this on with anything. Like you could literally throw this on with anything. Comfortable, um, a shoe that just stands out, catches your eye. So I'd probably say those two, the one, yeah, one and threes. When I was here in the states, I was all about like Jordans. Um, some like Nike SBs, um, but mainly those. When I was younger, I, I liked those Pippins that came out. I liked the Air Pennies, but when I grew a little bit older, I was just like Jordan, 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 Nike SBs, Air Force Ones, that was it. I wasn't really touching much else. And then when I went to Europe, it's different, right? Because there is a sneakerhead culture, but it's, I wasn't fully immersed in it like I was when I was over here. And, you know, going into the locker room there, it was different. Like, guys are more designer gear. Um, so that, and growing up, I was never exposed to that. I wasn't, like, I wasn't seeing, like, Balenciaga shoes. I wasn't seeing, like, uh, whatever, Dolce & Gabbana or, or Louboutin. So I would, that was, like, new territory to me. And it was still, it was still sneakers, you know? So I was like, okay, let me, let me explore this a little bit. Let me see what this looks like. So... <laughs> I bought a bunch of like Louboutins out there and Balenciagas and um, all those kind of like designer sneakers, but I was still heavily focused on J's. But it, it opened my mind, it exposed me to a different, a different culture, a different way of, of dressing, different fashion sense, because like I said, to that point, I was never really exposed to that. And I think that kind of helped me mold my own, my own, my brand and my own style even a little bit more. Cause even then, I didn't fully go one way or the other. I just kind of merged the two. So I could rock streetwear with some designer, with some J's, or you know, just make my own my own blend and just took little pieces to create my own little recipe. <laughs>